first love, Mr. Nap. Give me his love. Three, two, one, go! Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got my new Umarex UMP45 SMG. This gun is officially licensed by HK, so it's got all the accurate branding and markings on the side of the weapon for ultra realism. It comes with a high quality rubber coated folding stock, so you can really make the gun small if you need to get into close quarters or vehicles. Once the stock is folded up, it gives you access to the battery compartment. Check the Airsoft GI website linked in the video description to see what kind of batteries are available for this weapon, as uh, I don't think it can really fit too many lipos. One nice thing about this weapon is that it is all polymer, so even with a full length stick battery in the gun, it's still pretty lightweight. It has an ambidextrous fire selector switch for semi-auto and full auto. The mag release switch is easy to use, and when slapping the mag back in there, it makes a cool sound, and there's no rattle to the mag afterwards. The charging handle functions realistically and gives you access to the hop-up unit on the other side. The hop-up functions really well and I was surprised at the range I could get from this weapon. On top I've mounted my favorite AMP micro red dot sight with a riser. Not only does it function really well and has a flash hider on the front to protect it from breaking, but it also really complements the look of the UMP45. The front has three rails, which is plenty of space to mount any sort of grips or tack lights or whatever accessories you can think of. Overall, I was actually really impressed with the performance of the UMP45. If you're interested in it, check the video description for the links to the Airsoft GI store with all the components that I have attached to it. Now onto the action, myself and the Desert Fox are playing at Tac City South in Fullerton, Southern California, and we're both using our UMP45s. This field is extremely close quarters and fast paced, so it's perfect for this lightweight weapon. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Or is Hey, right, right here, right here. It's coming. A cool thing about this gun is it has a blowback function which mimics the shell ejection of a real weapon. Checking. Now each of these games are pretty chaotic, this is as close to speed soft as you can get, so Jet and I really have to push up fast and then kind of hold our ground for a while, wait for the field to clear out a little bit where people get shot, and then start to move around. Alright buddy. Got two. Two. Yeah. 
One of the funny things about this field is the extent of our planning usually entails just, let's move up to that piece of cover and then we'll figure it out from there. I'm gonna try and make it the... I don't know. I don't know what's around to the left, so I'll just play it by ear. Just go, just go. We'll go together. I'm still up. You got left? Jet moving up to one piece of cover. Another tricky thing about this field is the fact that you are exposed to so many angles every time you peek out from something, so you really have to check out your angles before you expose yourself too much. Okay, switch to this side. In this sequence, Jet and I push up aggressively, but we find that the enemy is already in our location, so we try and split up to take them out. Whoa. Okay. There's a guy in here. Gabby. Hey, I don't know if our right flank is falling or not. No, okay, we're okay. Back up. You want to go around here? here? Gabby. Gabby. Bang, bang. That guy's down, yeah. Although patience rarely pays off in the world of video games, it certainly does work well in airsoft. There's one more in there, Charlie. Don't peek, don't peek. In this next sequence, I'm playing further back in the field and Jet is playing up close. And we're staying in constant communication and I'm actually able to communicate with Jet and let him know how to take out a target that's a potential threat to him. He's right here behind the gray, Jet behind the gray. Jet, he's right here. Hey, I'm alternating corners. Jet, to your left, to your left. Right on the other side. Jet was able to successfully navigate that corner and take out that guy in close quarters who's giving me trouble at range. In this clip, the positions are reversed exactly and I'm behind the gray corner and there's an enemy behind the same hiding spot that I was the previous game. He's down, he's down. Where'd he get shot from? I, I think he was like a blocker. <laughs> One of our teammates gets shot from behind, and I realize that the enemy team must have completely flanked around from behind. So overall, I really had a blast using the UMP-45 from Umarax. The gun 
performed well. If I had to be nitpicky about it, I would say I wish it had a bigger battery compartment, but other than that, as long as you're willing to give up lipos, I think you can really make the gun work well. If you're interested in any of this gear, remember to check the video description for links to the Airsoft GI website, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.